What's up, party people? It's Mr. Bergman back at it again, and this time I'm the most nervous that I've been because I'm going to play clarinet, which is not the instrument that I'm used to. I'm probably a guitar player first, trombone player second, woodwind instrument somewhere way down here. So, we're going to try our darndest here, but like I promised, I said I was going to play Curse of Tutankhamen, so I've been practicing a little bit. I was hoping to play clarinet one, but I'm going to play clarinet two. So I'm going to show you what I'm looking at. First of all, I had to look a lot at my trusty fingering chart because there's all kinds of stuff on here that I've never had to do before. For example, we had to do E flat, we had to do C sharp, we had to do A sharp and B flat, we had to do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I had to look a lot at this, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the score as it goes by. What I'm doing is I'm reading off of this conductor score for just the clarinet part. So I'm going to do my darndest. I've already warmed up, so I'm good to go. I'm going to angle the camera down a little bit so you can see my clarinet, hopefully. Let's see how we do. Here we go. So, I'm not used to that. I'm a little out of breath. So there's a lot of places where I made mistakes. But it's good to recognize that. And it's not, it's not bad that I made mistakes. That's how I recognize that I need to get better is by identifying those spots where I screwed up so that I can fix that. And next time I play it, I'll be better. So I, I'm totally happy with that performance because I know that I did better than I did last week. And I'm going to do even better the next time that I try this. So first of all, my muscles in my face are not used to playing the clarinet. So I could feel myself getting weak as I continue to play. So more and more practice is going to be helpful for that. Whatever your instrument happens to be, your embouchure with your face is needs to be kept up. These are muscles that you don't use very often. So you need to use them for your particular instrument. For guitar, uh, it's the muscles in your fingers or the calluses on your hands or your fingertips. 
that uh, that are important for you to keep up. So that's one thing that I need to improve on is just practicing more clarinet if I want to do well at the clarinet. Uh, the second thing is there's a couple of places where I flubbed notes and was sort of playing a few really, really fast. That's the places where I forgot what the fingerings were for a certain note. And it took me like an extra half second to, to find it. And uh, even a split second is too long. Uh, so so I need to memorize those, those fingerings a little bit better. And then thirdly, clarinets, you know this, those high notes are very easy to squeak on. Uh, and so that's really important to have that really tight embouchure, lots of fast air going through those places and to have the, the right placement for my read and everything else. So maybe I need to look a little bit more at adjusting those things, but those are the things that I think I want to work on. I would give myself a two uh, just because there's places where I need to go from there. Uh, but I'm saying all this, but I do want you to go and use teams to enter this in. So we're going to take a look at teams one more time together so that I can show you what it is that we're going to do when we finish practice groups. So in teams, you're going to go into whatever section is for your class. For me, it's Bergman Band because this is a band thing. Then I'm going to the top, Class Notebook. Then I'm clicking on this little arrow that shows up right here. I find Collaboration Space. I find Practice Groups. I uh, copy it and I add it to my personal folder. I can see all the names of the students, but you put it in your spot, wherever that happens to be. Okay, uh, but let's pretend that you copied it already. So today is May 11. I'm going to give you the week to do this practice group. Uh, my goal was to do that. Oh, clarinet two specifically, because maybe in the future I want to try hitting more of those high notes in clarinet one. Best feedback, I think probably just to get those muscles better. I think that's the number one thing I can do to get better. The number I gave myself, good. My next goal, uh, I'm going to do the same exact thing because I got a two. Okay, If I got a three or a four, I would pick something different, but because I got a two, uh, that means that I can do better on it next time, which means there's a reason to pick it as my next goal again. So I'm going to say uh, with fixed. And maybe I might even want to try those parts in clarinet one that I didn't do. So it's okay if there's some uncertainty when you're picking your goal for next time. I'm okay if you switch it up a little bit in between. But the purpose of this document is, is so that you're following up on your plan. So if I look back and I'm like, oh, that's what I said I'd do for this week. You type it in there. Okay. So when it comes to the things that we're doing for this class, as you can see in that document, there are four practice groups from now to the end of the term. There's going to be May 11, May 25, June 8, and June 22. That's two weeks at a time for each one. As far as I'm concerned, what's most important is that you're doing the class songs. If you're able to do practice groups on top of that, awesome. If you have to choose between the two because you're too busy, choose the song for the class. Don't choose practice groups. Uh, that, that can basically count for practice groups as far as I'm concerned too. So uh, good luck out there. Keep it up. Keep practicing. And I look forward to seeing what you got. Peace.